The Philadelphia 76ers are going to be staying put in the city they've called home since 1963. But some locals are voicing concerns about the project's potential impact to their neighborhood. After reports, the team was considering a move to Camden, New Jersey, where state officials had offered them $400 million in tax credits as part of a multi-billion dollar development plan. The Sixers have instead decided to sign a new stadium deal to remain in Philly. The city's mayor, Sherelle Parker, detailing the announcement during a press conference this week. It's the best sports facility agreement in Philadelphia's history. It keeps our hometown 76ers playing in Philadelphia at least until 2061. The $1.3 billion stadium project will be financed entirely by the team. A provision within the agreement will allow the Sixers to cover those costs through annual payments in lieu of taxes, averaging about $6 million a year. The Sixers are financing the $1.3 billion project with no city funds. That is an approach that is unprecedented among our local sports facilities. The deal also calls for the team to make a $50 million investment in local businesses, neighboring communities, and the city's schools. However, the project has drawn pushback from activists in Philadelphia's Chinatown district, which is just a block away from where developers are eyeing to build a proposed stadium. Protesters say the new arena will disrupt or displace residents, forcing older people, low-income families, and new immigrants to move out. It follows a pattern that's going on in our city where developers want to displace people who they see as insignificant. The project still needs approval from the city council before it can move forward, but if it ultimately gets the green light, demolition work in the area would begin in 2026, with construction starting two years later. Officials hope to open the arena in time for the 76ers' 2031 season. Jack Almer, Straight Arrow News.